What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Sunday afternoon. It is Easter. That's right. It's the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Everybody's up here barbecuing, going to church, even though this is probably your first time going to church in like 50 years. But we ain't going to hate on that as long as you in the in the pews and put money in that collection plate. You be all right with me. And, you know, normally I don't film on Sundays because it's a day of rest for everybody. But, you know, I need to go and make a quick video to address a pending issue and to give a little bit of advice to Vegan Gaines. Now, you guys have been asking me when am I going to debate him? Well, I do apologize. I am actually in the waiting line because he's been too busy playing with his butt buddy, uh, Frank Tofano. But one thing I have to call him out on recently is the fact that Mr. Vegan Gaines has been threatened to be sued by Mr. Frank Tofano because, you know, Richard called him a scam artist uh, for his business production, Frankie's uh, Fresh Meats or whatever the fuck it is. The great one has to go and give Richard a little bit of uh, advice. Now, Richard, as I stated before, and I'm, this also goes to all you little childrens out here. You know, it, it's a shame that, that a grown man like me has to educate you kids. And here's the thing here. Richard, you may not. I don't like Frank Tofano or most of you carnivores or vegans no more than anyone else. But at no point in time can you call someone a scam artist when they haven't scammed nobody yet. It's not a scam to go and collect donations. Now, with that being said, you can point out any red flags. You can point out discrepancies. But the minute you call a person a scam artist and you do not have any definitive evidence, you are liable for defamation of character. And Frank Tofano has every right to go and file a lawsuit against you. But I consider that an empty threat because, you know, uh, you guys are children's, you know, y'all play around on the Internet. And I'm going to let you know right now, if you had pulled the same shit with me, Richard, I would have definitely sued you. And I do have the money and, the ret and an attorney on retainer from my other businesses to come after you if you was to pull some shit like that on me. You pulled out on some grown folks like me, Dave Palumbo, uh... You know, Steve Holman from Iron Man, you go do that to the muscular development, we'll have your ass in the sling there. But fortunately, this is Frank Tofano. I don't think that he's going to do anything. But the point being said is, Richard, you said that you was turning over a new leaf. And here we are back to the same old shit. Up there calling people out, calling them scam artists for no reason whatsoever. Well, actually, you do have a reason, but, you know, the the thing about it is, is that, you know, you have to limit your exposure like a London fog coat. You have to limit your exposure, you dumbass. Now, with that being said, limiting your exposure means that you can go and uh, dance around the subject. But once you go and dig into the whole situation, then you're on the hook, motherfucker. Because the fact of the matter is, is that while you can go and make accusations and you can raise red flags, the minute you directly call someone a scam artist, it's on like Donkey Kong. You know what I'm saying? And Frank Tofano had, has every reason to go sue you. And if he took you to court, he'd be a clear cut winner. But my advice to you is, you know, you need to go consult with an attorney for a consultation I don't think anything will be coming up on it. But at the same time, you need to really cut out the bullshit because one day motherfucker is going to hit you for real. You're going to talk shit about the motherfucker. And that motherfucker is going to come after you. He's going to sue you and it's going to leave you and your wife buck naked out on the street without no money. Bankrupt, not chapter 13, but chapter 7. Motherfucker! 
You know what I'm saying? So watch your ass. And while you are free to call out a motherfucker, when you straight up dig into a motherfucker and straight out outright accuse him of being a scam artist or being a molester or some other uh, foul word, then you're on the hook for it, period. And that's all I got to say today. I'm going to get back to my Easter. You like this channel? Well, God damn it, you love this channel. Like and subscribe to the Vince Goodrum channel. Happy Easter. And as far as those Easter eggs are concerned, you can paint an Easter egg, shine it up real good, turn that some bit sideways, stick it up your monkey ass. And if you don't know, now you know that your mom's a hoe. Happy Thanksgiving, motherfuckers.